Hello and welcome to GameCube Plays Yakuza 2. I'm Mike. I'm another person of AP, and uh, well, what, what's it, how long has it been since we last recorded? It feels it, like forever. It's been a while. It's been long enough that we didn't remember if we ended at a chapter end or not. It looks like not. <laughs> but Seems like there should probably be a chapter end coming right up around the corner, though. It does. Let's finish that. But first, I noticed that... Sure, we'll take those tissues. Sure, sure, sure. I noticed that... Didn't notice. I remembered... Well, this looks like a side quest, so we'll do that. But we need to go to the ramen store. So, this... You were talking about ramen, I believe? Yes, we have, we have to go to the ramen shop, because we have a little bit of health gone. Oh, to try and finish off the, uh... The list of things that we gotta eat yeah. there. Oh, Did they actually get anything for completion on that? For what? Uh, eating all the food. Uh, the ramen guy becomes our friend. Um, um, I meant, like, all the other completions for all the oh, other uh, in the game. you get gear. You might get a... I think you might get the golden gun? Ah, is the golden gun infinite ammo or something? I believe so, yeah. Alright, that's a good enough reason to me. It's just, this is just a little bit of world building here. Yeah. Kind Getting of. Getting some uh, bathhouse drama. Oh, I don't know what's going on in there. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. Well, this is a red light district. That is true. Hello, ramen store. Kyushu number one. Oh. Were we able to buy two things here? One for us and one for, um... No, because not sit down. Oh, we gotta level up. I came ah. I came in here to check, uh... To see... Uh... What we'd eaten here. But... That's a good bonus. Ooh, that'll be nice useful. Nice little touch of the rainbow meets us. Yeah, it's just like a health meter, except... For level up. Not that. Completion. Mm -hmm. Food. K1 ramen. Pork, scallion, black sesame. So it's just these top three I need, it looks like. Yeah. We're almost done with this place, now we got ourselves a happy new friend. Yeah. Well, let's get this one, because this one is the least appetizing to me. It does actually sound disgusting. Anything with seaweed kind of sounds bad. Seaweed's okay sometimes. Depending on what kind of seaweed it is. The very, very few times I've had it, I've just not thought much of it. Wakame um, salad's real good. I have the most divisive opinions, so, um... Or the most polemic. I either love it or I hate it, so... My opinion might not be worth shit on that, on that topic. Is this another fight building? Oh, we fought in this building in the last game. Yeah, it was the, uh... Ma Majima... Was it a brothel of some kind? It's a soap land. Hmm. Majima crashed like and a, uh... A steamroller through it or something. Hmm. And we went down into the basement and fought him. Yeah. Is gonna, this is gonna be a fight building. Yeah. Definitely. Hey, Sayama. Can I knock Sayama over? I yes. hope you can. Stay on your toes. Stay on them. I, d oh, I don't think you can. Oh, she fell quite a bit then. I'm getting pretty close. Uh, you know what? You might only be able to do if you get him from behind. Get them where they least expect it. They're flank. Okay, there's a save point. We don't need to save. We just got here. Mm-hmm. This means one phone. We don't need another phone. Yeah. With that pose, this is definitely a fight building. 
Or maybe it's just- oh, I was gonna say maybe not, but then these three guys... Yeah, just like kind of trooped around the corner. Can I? He- What a wasted opportunity, game. Yeah, you could have just thrown him off the edge. But that does not look like something you should be able to lift with your hands. Look at him. Slab of concrete. We've we've determined that he's basically a human bulldozer. He defeated Majima's it's bulldozer in the last game and absorbed his strength. It's true, it's true. But holding a slab of concrete above your head and swinging it around. All right, this old cabinet is probably even heavier. What am I even? What path am I going down here? What am I trying to do? It's Kazuma. Ooh, of some, course that's, he can that's some slowdown. Oh, yep. Hmm. I guess it's Yakuza 3 that the heats really start coming in. I, mean, I don't know, I think that was a new heat move, wasn't it? Maybe, but I mean, there's some new ones here, but I know in other games you can definitely throw people off a of ledge just like that. Yakuza 4, they give you the ability to go on the rooftops in Kamurocho, and you can just throw people off buildings. That... That doesn't sound very, uh... very in line with your theory of how Kazuma operates. Oh, he calls the... he calls the fire department first, to have him set up, you know, those... Oh, I guess... Yeah, the big problem. Yeah. What, what a thoughtful guy. Man, what is this walking animation? I don't know. What is that? It looks like he's broken both of his legs. Okay, I don't want to move. Okay, I'm just trying to figure out where is progress, because I see a health over there. But I don't want to accidentally trigger a thing. What is this music? Hmm. Okay. Okay. I see the, the path, and this bench is not very nice to me. Why can't I... I wish I could use... the camera stick in here. Yeah, it looks like another fixed camera clusterfuck. Yeah. Maybe just totally reused the, uh, the camera angles from Yakuza 1. It could, it's very possible. But then the building kinda doesn't look like the same building in size. It's not the exact same, if I remember rightly. I couldn't tell you. My inventory's full. Right, I still have Sayama's underwear in here. Why do you still have- how do you still have them? I guess, she didn't, why. I guess she didn't take it? She, she's going dirty? I guess so. She's meant to be on the case. She's meant to be a clean cop. Command, that isn't very clean. Commando in attitude and fashion. She's maybe not going commando, man. She's probably just wearing the old ones. Okay. There's a guy over here who's who needs to be taken. Yeah, care he's of. being an asshole with knives. Oh motherfucker, he's all he can't get to him. <laughs> Just run. This is a real dick move of a room. It looks like he can get to him on the map. He can't on the edges but he of his weird. But not through this area. room. Do I have any weapons? Of course not. But, what am I saying? There's probably a heap of slag or something around here. Oh, there's not, actually. Oh, there's a cabinet. You can probably just throw that at him. That guy didn't even bother to try and chase you either. He just stood there waiting for you to come back to the door. He knows what you're going to do. Okay, guy. You're right. Of course, was about on the throwing the cabinet thing. It's the best idea. Is you don't have a lot of good ideas, but when you do, 
They're like that. Hey, hey, now. Hey, would you rather Maybe have? I just don't share the good ideas. Would you rather have a lot of paltry little ideas or a few really great ones? I'd probably rather have the a lot of paltry ideas, honestly. Because a few great ones means that the rest are probably not good at all. And honestly, I'd rather not have bad ideas. These guys with the uh, chest cabinets are really not that interested in chasing you, are they? No, they just want to block their doors. I think they just want to hook their cabinet. So how long are we going to keep Sayama's underwear for in this? I don't know. As in, if it doesn't seem like we're just giving them to her at any point, so do you think they're ours forever? Maybe. Maybe we give them to a hostess later. Maybe. Oh hey, these were meant for my cop friend when she, got sh when she got shot. Yeah. But you can have them instead. It's basically set in chemistry. It's set in the chemistry of that. Sounds legit. Where do these fuckers keep coming from? Say, I'm gonna just let some up the stairs. Thank you, my... My baseball delivery man. The murder bat. This is the one that, if I remember right, we took, like, half the health off that boss. Yeah. It's just that good a bat. I'm trying to rotate the camera, but... To no avail. Game. Yeah, the game is having none of your funds. Remember, this is PS2, so, like, camera freedom wasn't really much of a thing. Back yeah, then. that's true. Like, they didn't want you walking out there completely untextured roof. Yeah. Hey, Sayama, I changed my mind. Come come shoot people. Yeah, just like, getting the guys with the knives standing over the edge of cracks Man, while I can't get Man, fucked this building up? Hmm. Doesn't look like he hit with a bulldozer. It just looks like he, uh... A, he bombed it. Yeah, it looks like he took a stick of dynamite to it. Hmm. This looks like a place that murders have happened in. And I guess, in a way, they did. Okay. Since you probably killed everyone Here's on your Mr. Way. Shotgun. We can't have him at all around. I don't know why that's the the heat for that weapon. Hmm, it's a bit lame. I bet you the uh, Patriot Bat is far better than the actual shotgun is. Um, I don't know, the shotgun's pretty good. If I can hit. The guys all coming out in like bright 80s looking suits and you walking around in a white one, it kind of looks a bit hot while in Miami right now. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah, nothing wrong with it. No, it is wrong here. Fucking knife man. Now I can't don't want to shoot cabinet Knife Man guy. always seems to... Yeah, he always seems to come with cabinet guy. It's like that old family friends or something like that. Can or I maybe their mum's got them a job together. Okay. Okay. Actually, how do you know you're not just here killing the moving staff? Uh, cause moving staff There's generally so guys. Do, moving staff generally don't have shotguns. You you never know. They may they may be playing it fast and loose with the how do we get rid of all this crap stuff. I'm just stocking up on some weapons. But yeah, so far all I've seen is you brutally murdering guys who are just trying to move a cabinet. Um, I have enough tissues. I, what I do need is the health.
This is a lot emptier than other fight buildings we've been to. Yeah, it seems like all the guys that you've run into, you've run into in here all at once. Like that corridor guys who kept coming. Oh uh, yeah, that's true. But it seems like it's probably over now. No, it looks I think we're gonna have to fight these guys. Mm. Yeah, we're gonna have to fight these guys, but I mean like uh, the actual building part oh, of it. Yeah. Seems to be over. Maybe Cyan will help this time. Looks like it. I don't know why, but stand aside and I'll let you live doesn't sound very Kazuma. Never really knew, known him to be a guy who would just threaten and or murder guys. Oh, he's not. Not in the way he just, like, sort of made it out to, to be. Okay, that guy has a gun. I will respond in kind. Man, guns are really the bane of fighting games. Usually not fun to fight with. Definitely not fun to fight against. It's not. It's not as bad in this game as it was in the last one. Yeah, in the last one it spammed them. There was gun guys everywhere. But how do we know that? Well, you probably know because you've finished the game, obviously. But it might just turn into gun guys all over the place again. Uh, it's very possible. These guns do a lot, a lot of damage. They're kind of breaking my shit. No, no, no. Fuck you. Two guys with guns. Ah, how long is this fight? And these guys are real fast, too. Hmm. This seems like a really annoying fight. <laughs> and of course, another guy with a gun. I finished him. With a gun? Yeah. They're just airsoft guns. Real guns are illegal. He died how he lived. Larry. ゴダカチは別の場所に連れてかれちまったすまねいやこっちも遅くなって悪かったな大丈夫か大丈夫じゃない死にそうだどうしたどこか怪我でもしたのかそうじゃねまあスピアルが減って死にそうなんだよそれ